Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Recon. Some of you know me as I Graveyard, and today I'm bringing you the Rainbow Lens on Baker Stutz's deal with the video. And uh, I think all of you saw it in the beginning of the video, so let's start with the tutorial here. So I'm gonna delete all of these here. Now, what I have here now, I have my song. <coughs> Sorry. I have my song and my clip twixtured. Uh, signed so it's very easy so let's start with the tutorial by making a new adjustment layer and we're gonna search up find edges we're gonna place the find edges here we see that we have a white background we're gonna set it to invert so we have like a, a black background with some colors in it so now we're gonna do again Make a new adjustment layer and search up for color gradient. Generate for color gradient. Place this and place the the four color gradient color on down your find edges and set it to screen. So you see, uh, we have some colors here. Now um, you search out hue saturation and place it here. And we want hue and saturation because we want a bunch of colors moving us. So we're gonna keyframe the channel range, we're gonna move to the end, here maybe, and I'm gonna set this to, set it whatever you want, but the best is 10, so we're two steps, final step, so, uh, sorry, these are the first two steps, we still have one step left, so, to make sure this is rotating, see a green, blue, purple, yellow, if we go here, we see like, um, rotating colors here, so see, so yeah, um, now what you gotta do now is um, make a new adjustment layer, place it on top and add magic bullet looks preset. Add any magic bullet look that you feel comfortable with here. <coughs> um, but um, Baker used a special um, look, so, but I don't know what which what is it so. I think the best I was searching on is Baker Dubstep 1, it's his preset, but he used, he did another one, so if anyone knew it, please tell me guys. So here we got Baker Dubstep 1, it's the best for it, so you see here it's changing, looks pretty cool. So now we're done here, now what you're gonna do is make the explosion now. So I'm gonna make the explosion here, at the, at the shot I'm gonna make the explosion right over here, maybe. Yes, here. I'm gonna place the explosion right on top first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the explosion to the place I want to. Uh, sorry, the explosion to be in. This is logic, so it's easy for you guys. So maybe I want this over here. Maybe more. More. So yeah, maybe I want this over here. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, wait. I want this here. This. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is in the effects and presets, search up Luma key, place it on the explosion. While we are putting the Luma key, because if you set this to screen, I'll show you a quick look here. If you set this to screen. You won't see anything, it's gonna be transparent, so if you set this to normal, I'm placing up top. Put Luma key, set the threshold to 20. See, there is no background. If you now place it down there, you can see it all full. Now what you're gonna do is make a new solid for the track mat. Put the solid under the, up top the explosion. Mark it and mark the explosion. Now, key, uh, take your pen tool and roughly make mask where you want it to be. I'm gonna make a bad mask here but please guys do better than me as usual doing this for the sake of the tutorial. So yeah we did our mask now we can enable our explosion and set it to alpha mat inverted. Before everything we need to increase the the scale so we're gonna increase the scale to about 150. Now what you're gonna do is go P for position and just make it up top. 
So the alpha mat has it all here. Maybe a negative uh, 80. It's gonna be right negative 120. Yeah, this is pretty really, pretty good. So 790. Yeah. So here it is. We got our track mat. We got our explosion. We got. Uh, this sucks. But uh, remember to keyframe the mouse path and just like uh, I'm just gonna do this first maybe just keyframe the mouse path in the beginning and when as you see here when the uh, it's hard to explain <laughs> when you see the explosion is out of range you just need to take your normal selection tool and just take your mask and oh shit sorry guys my computer is bad so well I think guys you understand me so I won't do this guys you understand me right so now fast what do we have here yes um, the rest um, yeah we have the audio spectrum so we're gonna do this very fast new solid Search out audio spectrum, then read audio spectrum, place it down there. It, place it with the song you want. Now we're gonna choose side A, choose which side you want. Side A is the best. Now I'm gonna change the little settings here. Set the frequency band to 300, high to, five, to 500, and the thickness to 5. Now what we need to do is stretch it, so we're gonna start point to here is 360 and the end point is gonna be 1280 by 360. So stretch. Now what we're gonna do <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, bad throat. <coughs> now uh, what we're gonna do is P for position and place it down. So I'm gonna place 720 here, so it's down. And now I'm gonna place it down the adjustment layer so we see the color belt. And we're done here. What do we need to do now? Oh, we're done. There's nothing we need to do. Oh, yeah, and final thing, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Make sure to render this in full res. Uh, sorry, make sure to render this in half res because, you, because if you render this in full res, as you see here, we're gonna have uh, like uh, thick lines. So. It's gonna be shit and you can't see anything so if you render this in half our computer is fucking shit taking forever now if you render this in half you see that's more comfortable and you see the lines are thick and it's looking better so yeah make sure to render it in half make sure to use luma key on the explosion track mat do better than me i suck and yeah thanks guys comment rate and subscribe um if you subscribe this helps me a lot so and the one like really helps me a lot and provides me supports me to put more tutorials for you guys so next tutorial is gonna be something in cinema 4d so stay tuned and thanks guys